So uh, the next question was mitigation statement versus uh, plan of action and milestone or POAM. This comes from Jose. He says, hey, Bruce, hope all is well. Just wanted to ask you something. Is it common for a validation to ask for a mitigation statement for a POAMed item? For a POAMed item. I am confused to why I need to provide a mitigation statement for something that might not have a way to mitigate, to be mitigated unless completely fixed. Okay, so let me explain what, what he's talking about here. So uh, what he means by mitigation statement is when you're doing risk management framework, when you're doing uh, information assurance, when you're doing whatever you want to call it, there's many different names for it, but you know what I mean. It's IT documentation risk management framework. When you're doing this stuff, you have something called a mitigation statement, also known as an implementation statement. And all it does is explain how a control has been implemented. So it it can it depends on the organization how detailed it is. I've been in organizations that very that go into great excruciating detail in the statement. But I've also been at some that Department of Defense type organizations that just put it in like one it just gets right to the point. It's literally like a statement, like one two paragraphs maybe explains how the firewall uh, doesn't have any any rules or whatever or explains how physical security is has been put into place, right? One paragraph. Here's what this system system A um, has a 24 by 7 security unit who are armed at all times they check the perimeter with this checklist blah 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 boom done and then it says for more information see this document for more information see this database uh, or whatever I've seen that so I've seen it extremely long where they have the whole document in there or a short little paragraph that's it but that but that is the a, a, a mitigation statement and that's usually put into a system security plan a uh, plan of action and milestone is where you can't have you don't have controls so in our example of the physical security instead of the required physical security of a 24 by 7 guard unit that's outside the facility or something you have an electrified fence and you have an eight foot electrical fence and you, but you don't have a physical guard unit, but the control calls for having someone physically there, right? The control in the NIST says specifically, now this is not specifically what it says, but let's just say that the this is security control PE-8, and it says you must have 24 by 7 security guards that who are armed, right? So that's what you're supposed to have. But let's say your organization can't afford that. You're, but you're in the middle of the desert and all you can afford, all the organization can afford is an eight-foot fence that's electrified, right? So you would put in the in this particular uh, plan, um, in this particular instance, you would put in place a plan of action and milestone. That means a plan of action to fix this particular control. And so the plan of action will have dates on when you would actually be able to do this. Let's say the organization, organization alpha, it has a plan to actually, they're doing a contract right now, but it's going to take two months for, for the contract to be complete so that this 24 by 7 organization can come in and patrol the facility, right? So you have a plan to do it and it'll be in place in two months. And here's the point of contact, Who here's who you contact to know when it's going to be done and it just details everything that you're going to do as you're doing it as you're getting everything into place the milestones are on june 1st we're gonna we're gonna put the contract in place on july 15th we should have our first guard unit and they're they're going to develop a policy to how they're going to do the perimeter checks and on august we're finally going to have them in place that's a plan of action and milestone so jose is saying well I can't, we can't put these physical things in place right now. So why do they want me to say that we have a 24 by 7 uh, guard unit there when we don't have that? We All we have is 
the fence. That's it. And, and it's a plan of action and milestone. We already have a document stating how we're going to do it. Why do I need to put anything in this system security plan about this control that we can't meet? So I've seen this done in different ways. So I've seen it to where what what you do is you will put in what you do have in place. You'll put what's called compensatory controls, which are saying we don't have 24 by 7 security. However, we have an eight foot electrical fence and that's what we have for now. Uh, so I've seen them put that in there and I've also seen them put something like that, like a description of what they do have. And by the way, we see the, po the plan of action and milestone for more information. Or sometimes you'll put the plan of action and milestone inside of that mitigation statement. I've seen that too, where they say, okay, we have an eight foot fence, it's electrified, and we have a plan of action and milestone in place. And on August the 15th, we will have 24 by 7 security on this, at this location, on this, on these five sites or whatever, right? And then I've also seen it to where they don't put any of that stuff. They'll just say, refer to uh, POAM 15. And then it's on the assessor to go to POAM uh, 0515 to, to go see more information on that. So I've seen it bo done both ways. And the reason why uh, you, you would want to put something in there is just in case th when the assessors are going through, the auditors are going through your information, they're going to be reading through your documentation, you know, and they're going to be like, okay, let's see. It says here in your control PE-5 that you guys, well, it's blank here. It's blank. Why, what are you guys doing with this? And if Jose is like, well, we didn't put anything there because it's a plan of action, a milestone, you know. So the reason why you would want to put something there is so that when they're looking at it, it's like, okay, I see you guys. This is uh, PE-5 security control, and you're supposed to have a 24 by 7 guard unit here but I see you have a plan of action and milestone but you guys do have a fence okay I saw that and then you also have a, a poem and I see a, like a brief description here that you guys will have this in by August 15th okay that's cool the reason why I would put something in there it minimize their questions the less questions that auditor or assessor has the better the better it is for for everyone <laughs> it's the better it is for them the better it is for you and the better it is for the actual organization you're working for so so I would put something in there I would put and then I would refer to the plan of action and milestone all right I hope that answers any questions but if you guys have any questions further questions on that if you happen to be watching this live feel free to ask